everyone my name is Abhishek Jain and in today's video I'm just gonna talk about some of the basic issues you know the beginner faces for the network component of a docker right and I was visiting a stack overflow and I found that you know a lot of people are posting these errors so I thought that why not uh, come up with the videos where I can explain why they are getting into those errors so let's get into the demo part and see the very first error when you try to remove the network but you are not able to because docker daemon is saying it has some active point so first reproduce that issue and then we're gonna see what we need to do to short this out okay so the very first thing which i have to do here is i have to just create a network i'm just gonna create a network network i'm not giving any driver it means that it is going to be created with driver default so let me go to network ls and i can see my first network is there now what i need is i want to create a container so i'm just creating an nginx container and i'm just running this when network equals to first network so i want this to be associated with the network which is first network which is user defined network it's not a default network like bridge host and not now if i just inspect should be docker network spec first network in a container part i can see this this nginx is associated with this network i can inspect container as well if i want to let's do that as well and here in the network part in the last you can see the network for this container is first network now if i try to delete our first network which is a command to run the delete the network so i get this error error response from daemon error while removing network network first network id has a active and point right so here you can see this docker inspect the container docker inspect says the network id is d9fe which is ending with 0c9 and you can see this d9fe 0c9 right so this network id has some active components right now which one you have so let's let's go back to the network inspect part and see we have this container right and it has this endpoint id and if you just see 5fa let's come down here and in this network container inspect you can see the same id okay so if i just come down you can see this is my endpoint which is just listed in you know the network when i inspect the network so that's the reason i am not able to remove so to clean a network right you have to make sure none of the container is associated or connected with this network so now we have two options first is either i can stop this container right if i stop this container right then i can remove that so first let's see what happens if i stop this engine x Next one container okay i have removed i have stopped the container let's see if what happens if i try to remove now i can remove it right so make sure whenever you face this issue just check docker network uh, by inspecting the network to see what all containers are running and you can just check your containers as well but containers sometimes if you have more number of containers then it could be a little difficult so i would suggest just inspect the network then another option right rather than stopping the container there could be a situation where you don't want to stop the container then what you can do then you can disconnect the container from the network and we and connect this container to some other network which you don't want to delete right but it's completely depend upon your use case right so let me just create that container not create let me just start that container and see what happens it cannot be created why because when I started this container engine X, I was using this first network, but that network has been removed now, right? So what I have to do is I have to just create this network again. I'm not saying you have to just follow this blindly. It's completely depend upon your use case, right? What use case you are trying to solve. But now again, it is belonging to the older one, right? So that's the reason you are not able to do it. So I would suggest put this Docker network to yes 
and then let's see what happens now okay it cannot be again it cannot you know connect it with that so all i need to do is i have to just remove this nginx uh, completely okay and then i can recreate this container but this time i have to make sure my network is there or not it's not there so let me just create that network one more time okay and then i can run it it's there then i can use this network disconnect command rather than stopping a container i can for this net disconnect command i have to first give the network and then the container name okay and let's see if i just try to remove now what happens okay now it's allow me to. so there are two options either you can stop the container if that is not possible you can disconnect the container from the network and then you can delete it to overcome with this issue that's it from my side for this video in our next video we get just gonna talk about the another issue where someone's try to you know delete the predefined network then what happens and why why you should not try to remove the default network right so thanks for watching this and as always stay healthy and keep learning and if you have any feedback and suggestion please feel free to put that in the comment section